last season, uh, I was big on the Pepperdine train. Um, there were a lot of opportunities early, and you guys had your moments, but the consistency lacked a little bit, obviously, to get over that finish line. What do you think will be different this season, on the court I'm talking about, obviously, uh, from last to get that kind of consistency that might have been missing a year ago? Well, it remains to be seen. And, you know, our guys know we've talked about it. Uh, even though we had our moments and had our opportunities, we just weren't quite good enough to get over the hump last year. That's not how we performed at the end of the day. And this year, uh, with the majority of our guys back, more experienced, uh, we would think that we've learned our lessons and some of those games that we weren't able to pull out at the end, hopefully we will be able to pull out, pull out and that will make, an entirely, make it an entirely different season for us. So uh, again, it, it remains to be seen, but uh, I think we know what's necessary to get done what remains for us, Andy, is to go do it and, and not talk about it. I feel like last year, we uh, you can look at every game we played. Uh, we had a chance to win. Uh, we had a chance in the last four minutes to win in those games. But now uh, we're a more seasoned, more veteran team, like Coach was saying. And uh, my leadership this year has definitely improved. So I think that's another benefit for us. And then we have guys like Kessler, who have another year under them and uh, who are willing to show how good they've gotten this year. Yeah, I also think that one of the main differences this year is our experience. We have guys that have been in the system for a couple of years now, and now that we have those difficult games under our belt, we know how to handle those situations better. You know, Lorenzo, this has been a wild ride since you've been back. Um, I think back to a couple of years ago with the fires, you guys were off campus. Um, now a global pandemic, a once in a century event. Uh, how have you been able to keep this thing straight with all these obstacles that have been throwing you guys away? Well, I'll tell you what, when you're gonna face adversity like like we faced, you know, there was also uh, a shooting. There was, there was a killing uh, student here at Pepperdine right around the same time as the fires. And so, yeah, we, our, our world was shook. Uh, so to speak, and things have been totally different. But when you go through adversity with a group of guys like we have, it makes it a lot easier to do it. Doesn't make it easy, but uh, you're able to navigate your situation and work through it uh, because I think the character of our guys have uh, we remained, we've been able to stay together. Uh, guys have been uh, pulling for each other and sticking with each other. and. I think that's how we've been able to, to get through it, just the closeness of our group and the, the quality of character of our group. Kobe, I want to shift to the court here. Sort of a hard segue, but, um, uh, you know, I've got you as one of the top uh, Koozie Award contenders, uh, one of the top returning players in the country. Um, obviously, your numbers speak for themselves. Uh, hopefully, the rest of the country will see that. But for you to live up to what you've already built for yourself, not other hype, you've put the hype, you know, you've created that hype, you've created that expectation. What do you have to do this season? Uh, to win, uh, that's that's the ultimate goal. Um, I think winning takes care of everything. So if we can win, uh, that'll definitely help. Um, and just for me to get better each and every day as a leader, uh, just be better for my teammates, uh, each practice, each game, and just uh, learn new things. So uh, that's been my goal this summer and as the season is starting, um, that's just been my goal, just to get better each day and just continue to listen to Coach Romar and uh, just help my teammates. All right, so Kessler, he's not gonna, and I don't expect him to sort of break his own game down and the way in which he helps players like you. So I need you to do that for me. Yeah, to start, it's very fun and easy playing with Kobe. He's a pretty natural playmaker and he's pretty good at, you know, putting guys in a good position with the basketball. And he also really doesn't have a problem scoring on offense. Um, he's also very competitive. So, you know, just playing with him makes makes everybody else more that much more competitive. You watch him in practice, you watch him in anything he does. It's, it's pretty obvious he wants to win. I think he has grown, as he says, he's grown as a leader and as a basketball player. And I, I think that what Colby has learned is even more so what it actually takes to win on this level. And I think he's so looking forward to this season because he wants to uh, take that knowledge 
that wisdom and put it out on the floor and put it on display. Uh, he's a he's an avid film watcher. He is obsessed with the game. He's obsessed with uh, being the best as, as an individual and as a team. And with that passion, I think he's pretty much figured out, okay, this is what happens. This is what you need to do to make sure you win this game. And I just think he's chomping at the bit to go out there and, and put it into action. Uh, he is, uh, without a doubt, one of the best point guards in this country. And when you're a senior in college basketball and you're one of the best, you're able to make things happen.